Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, I did struggle my way back up to five wins, didn't I? I mean, this deck has a pretty good sort of mana curve, just a very powerful lineup of things it can drop down. The problem is it's light on solutions. So, it, if I can get ahead, then I can do a lot. I, uh, board control, or I can even get back board control against, you know, normally sort of stuff, but it's, I would, my opponent might have all kinds of cards to disrupt me, I don't have a lot to disrupt them, I disrupt them by playing more minions, and then healing them, and then playing more minions. I just need to have more stats on the board than they do, and then fight it out. Okay. You have a golden paladin. That's a good sign. Yeah. Shall bring victory. <clears throat> well, I'd love to keep my one holy nova, but this hand is super expensive and bad. I guess we'll keep the saboteur, even though he's not a powerhouse in the early game. Or... ever. And my hand got worse. Awesome. Okay. Alright, I will semi-retract my complaint, since I did top deck a card which can at least be played in the near term. No first turn play for my opponent. He's going to coin out something big. Something bigger than Loot Hoarder, anyway. I know. I'll play the Ice Rager. You'll never see that come. Hey, look at that. That is actually possibly an obnoxious play. Although, interestingly... That guy will beat the pants out of my saboteur mostly, but my saboteur will stop him from making a a guy next turn, and then we'll kill that thing. So, I mean, the saboteur is a piece of junk, but I think he works out okay in this circumstance. Now he kills my loot hoarder, and then my saboteur will mostly be dead just to kill that guy. Oh no 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 no! That's bad too, but actually I think it would have been worse if he had hit the saboteur. Because then the saboteur would not survive killing the war horse trainer. Okay, that is also not good. Damn it! I wanted that guy dead. Um. We kill him and then heal this back up. Um, which I guess is productive if I'm also playing the trog. I mean, I could play the holy champion. She is awesome, but. You know what, maybe I should race this. My opponent hasn't could start making 2-1 guys, but that's not actually the end of the world. And I'll have a pretty impressive force out here, so let's, I'll, I'll just try and go more offensive for now. Sneak attack. <laughs> he doesn't usually live long enough to attack, so you don't usually hear that line. Sneak attack. Now I'm starting to look like I have a decent sized lineup out there. Oh my god, the bubbles! Screw you! Ah! So in the miracle, with the miracle of hindsight, I obviously should have killed him, but... What the hell? Alright, well, Saboteur sucks anyway. I guess we'll kill that. And play him. And depending on how well he does, maybe I can drop Magma Rager. Dropping uh, Magma Rager and Occultist would be pretty strong turn. Okay. Got Troglodytes going. I got Ice Rager. Guy. Hit you. We both don't want to hit each other with that. I don't think it works out to my advantage, even though getting rid of the bubble would be nice. I just somebody have enough mana to do healing. Ah, that sucks. Okay. Oh my god, the bubbles this guy has. God damn it. Just cannot get a foothold because he just has too many bubbles. Frick. I'm really screwed now.
My fate is sealed. I can play more stuff if I don't use her right now, even though healing him would be nice. I should probably actually still heal him. Getting my ass kicked, though, because those goddamn bubbles. Like, I just never had... I always had things that were fairly big, and it, and then would, like, lose a lot of their potency if they tried to take out his bubble, but... No, the, the, the bubbles are obliterating me. Okay. Oh, he's got that too. Awesome. Um, let's just play the curator and see what comes up. But I can't imagine it's going to be good enough. Those are pretty impressive things, sort of. Is Karen Bloodhoof going to be good enough? Uh, he's pretty good. I got a 6-4 and then a random 4-cost minion, or just two four fives. Take that. My fate is sealed. My fate is sealed. I don't have that the spells coming up lately, but I might later. And I could heal him with her, but it's not worth it. Karen. This is this is a mess though. This guy's deck is kicking my ass. Like he has significantly good stuff. And ah, yeah, my I get I don't have any, like, ways to do things. I just put things out there and, like, smash. And his bubble's been obliterating me. Okay, that's up, too. I mean, I guess that saves his life and he can kill the, uh, the Oldemon now. The Keeper, but... Or not. Funnel cakes! Get your funnel cakes here! And he's quite an army of stuff. Okay. I would say killing that is really efficient. And then I think the thing to do is just play Nefarian. So I go army, give me some paladin cards. Yeah. As much as I didn't get a consecrate, which would have been the best, those are pretty good cards. Cannot complain. There are a lot of junky paladin cards I could have gotten. Those are not them. This is a situation where I'm pretty sure that his like funnel cakes are helping me there. Let me think. I would. I said. I think my situation is a lot better with us both having four more hit points than it was. So that Nefarian took out a lot of his army and then gave me cards. So that was awesome. Okay. Heal yourself, not funnel cakes. Interesting. Holy fire. I think I need that right now. So we're going to kill this, obviously. Although, no, no, that was... Just a second. My plan was to hammer him, and then... Kill something else. Oh, that's pretty good, too. Um, I can't Holy Nova away his entire army even if I hit this, so we're going to kill that. Yeah. Because I was going to play her. Secret and go. So I have more cards now, so things are looking things were looking tremendously, tremendously bad. And then I went Nefarian, and then 
I don't know if it would. I don't know if. My, I think my opponent might have been better off, like, beating my face in and keeping it there. Like, okay, that's really bad. So we do not appreciate that. That. Back and forth again. Everything was looking really good. Then Mukla's champion came down, and everything's looking really bad. But I have a Holy Nova, so I should be okay. I have a very large Naga. Unfortunately, Holy Nova is not going to kill the champion, so I'm going to have to actually hit him first. To get the healing. Get out more stuff. It is tempting to have healed her instead of playing a trog, but having more stuff out there should be to my benefit. I guess he only needs two more damage to finish her, though, if he did have a Consecrate, so that's pretty annoying. No, he's just doing normal stuff. Freezing her, okay. Uh, that's a five hit point guy, and I have a five damage spell. Works out okay. Demolisher. I think the Thought Seal is a higher priority than the Demolisher. Yeah. Ooh, I like. I want to play him, but I can't because I've got to. Holy fire! That. He could raid both of his guys to kill my Drake. If he doesn't have a good turn right now. Things are going to go way downhill for him. Because I am going to hit him. I'm going to play a Sludge Belcher and hit him for double digit damage. Damn it. Okay. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I just need more. Okay. That is fine. You, you go nuts. You hit me with all that. That is totally, totally, totally fine. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, as if you surrender before I even double my power, double the power on my Drake. Jeez. Okay, go Nefarian. I feel like my opponent would have done better if he had said, "Nah, the dragon only hits for eight, and hit me with all that stuff instead of spending his entire army to kill Nefarian." So boy, did Nefarian work out well. I, I spent spent nine mana, killed basically his entire army, and then drew two cards. One of which killed something and drew a card. Yeah. yeah. I'm meet my end, in the hands of a warrior. Yeah. I don't want starting hand thought steal. Sets it really not good for your pace. The Volcanic Drake, and Freshman's Vendor, I might need that later on. I'm just trying to decide if I can pitch everything. I really should pitch everything so I can get cheaper things. But I, I have other forecast things. Nothing, none of those were like an amazing forecast thing that I need to keep. Eh, there's a big improvement. Even though the Magma Raid, even though the Ice Raider, sorry. Better than the Magma Ranger. Oh, that's good. Do you need a blessing? Oh, whoops. I should have, I should have probably coined out the loot order. I guess I'll save my coin. But no, the the Ice Ranger, not a good early, early gameplay. Screw you. Mind if I roll me? Almost tempting to convert that, but uh, we will only do so if there's an actual good reason. And I'm pretty sure he's going to die before then. Look at that. He died before then. So now what are you playing? Harvest Golem? Okay. Uh, this seems like a good time to coin out... Yeah, I know I wasted the coin that I would use to get a free 1-1 one -one out of her, but her 3-5-ness wins out right now. She is a very good... Like, she wins the matchup between her and Harvest Golem. Okay, you got armor up. Holy champion, that's pretty good too. Okay. 
my army is much better. Now let's see what kind of spells my opponent has. Or weapons, being a warrior. That sucks, because she would have done so horrendously more damage in like a turn or two. Okay. Oh man, that would have been crazy. Ah, uh, no. Okay, um, I wish I could convert his weapon. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Um, with Fen Creeper, he hits it, takes another three damage, and then any one of his guys can take it down. It doesn't work that well, but I think that may be my better play right now. And if I kill that... If he has a whirlwind attack, he'll be laughing at me. If he doesn't have a one damage spell of some kind, then this should take his axe and his other guy to get rid of my Fen Creeper. And leave me with something on the board. Could be nice. Maybe I should have just hit him for three. I don't know. I'm looking at possible funnel cakes soon, so hitting him for exactly three seems like a poor deal. Enemy Fen Creeper. Okay. Interesting. Power word glory while I'm getting a 1 1 for it. I don't think that's a big a deal. Especially, it's dumb to do it to a taunt guy because I have to kill him eventually. So. The problem is, if I just piloted Sky Golem, he gets to kill her for free. Could go with the Ice Rager who almost gets through that. Yeah. There's nothing worth converting, really. I mean, I could convert her, and that's okay, but I'm going to convert something better. And yeah, so I'm just going to draw. And there's nothing worth Power Word Glory. I mean, I guess I could Power Word Glory that just to gain 4 health and a 1-1. One, one. Because he's going to use it to kill that. It's going to. It'll give me a 1-1. One, one. Heal me the four health. It's not like a great deal, but that one one would actually help. No, it wouldn't, wouldn't really help finish him that much. Well, no, the one one plus this would help finish him after he kills her. So it's like it's close. It was almost worth it, but I'm gonna try and save it for a rainy day, and probably never find a good use for it because it is one of those cards. Oh, God damn it! I can't get to him. Awesome. Hmm. He's also a good target to convert, but I don't think it's going to work out. <sighs> Could just play this. I mean, he's going to get murdered. I guess I should have power word gloried him. When it would have given me a 1-1. One, one. Now it's not so great. But, yeah. Still does not seem worthwhile for anything. Just these two guys are going to kill each other. And, yeah. Just one mana short of being able to heal myself every turn. His Fen Creeper has mostly kicked my ass. It would have been really nice to convert that guy, but I wanted I needed to also get out my guy who could do things. Maybe maybe it would have been smarter to convert him and then play uh the funnel cakes. There's resistance to that. The the the, Al the Magmator is craziness. That thing has to die. So we're going to Yeah, kill that. That's five. That is nuts. I can't play enough battle cries to hit him, even if this guy was 100% accurate. That thing is like crazy in the, in the arena.
So whatever he hits, he is going to die now, which is good, I guess. Do I do I want to convert him? It's pretty annoying. If I play this, it's just going to get killed by what when he attacks. So if I heal him, he could survive the attack. I'm going to try that. I'm going to regret it. Everything seems like a wrong choice. That means I didn't convert him, but I mean, there'll be something else. Yeah. Ow. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that's pretty bad. May have to convert that. Chilma is pretty good with the taunt. I'm not going to have a dragon for it. But like this 6-6 six, six taunt works out pretty well sometimes. On the other hand, Sneasel Shredder is pretty crazy. Let's take that and hope it'll win me the game eventually. In the meantime, I could play Funnel Cakes, but again, he's like kind of a waste, like he always is. I should have just played him earlier in the game, obviously. But we're going to put out the Demolisher. And we're going to convert... Oh, I can convert Sneasel Shredder. It's such a slow, long play. Like, I've already been going slow, long plays. Alright, well, we'll just use dumbass funnel cakes. But I should have played earlier. I don't know when, because there was never, like, a great time for it. But I clearly should have had him out earlier. And he would have helped with some of those fights. But, oh no, this is for enemy minions. Duh, that's why I can't do Sneeze Old Shredder. I'm an idiot. No, I'll still have lots of time to do him, because he's not dying anytime soon. Or Dr. Boom. We'll just get Dr. Boom. See if I live long enough. Initiate the Boom Apocalypse. Uh, should I kill one of those first? Maybe. Nice. That, that power word's not going to do that much, but I can't. That thing's not going to die in like one hit, probably. If I did, if I did to his Doctor Boom, like the Doctor Booms are going to kill each other in all likelihood. So. Okay, you can kill the bomb. Nice. Ah, oh, big game hunter, that sucks. He would also be a good thing to copy. It would cost me a lot less mana. Okay, Nefarian. Oh, we're gonna play Sneed's old shredder. Then or I can't heal though. I mean I could play the curators, that's dumb. If I played Nefarian, I could potentially get an execute, which would be fantastic. It's probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna play him anyway. Nope. Charge is interesting. Bolster is not even interesting. I'm not going to have any taunts in all, in all likelihood. This is really bad. It's messed up, but it's really bad. Oh, you hit me with the wrong one first. You forgot about Power Word Glory, and now you're looking at it and being sad. It would have healed me in nothing if you had done the Storming Guard first. Now, I'm still in trouble. That's a minor win for me, at best. But, uh, yeah. Holy Fire would... I, I was going to play Sneeze Old Shredder, but Holy Fire would kill one and heal me, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to play the Curator and see. Because then I'm going to be Holy Firing. I like how Sneeze Old Shredder is never going to come out. Explosive Sheep, is that going to be more to my benefit? Probably. Although the Cultist is a lot better. But I could play the sheep and holy fire and... Ah, that's tough. Then you guys are more efficient, but I need to get rid of his army at some point. Uh, we're going to try that. Even though he's going to take advantage of it more. Let the games 
maybe overconfident there. Oh, and I still can't do that and heal myself because I was counting the mana from the other guy. Whoops. Oh. I might just be dead. He's got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 damage if he went all directly for me. No, that the sheep was the sheep was dumb. I shouldn't have done the sheep. I really, really shouldn't have done the sheep. <laughs> I'm gonna lose because of that. So I just taken one of the other guys, healed myself, killed the uh, the big game hunter like I was planning. No, he can easily manipulate this. He just has to hit hit Nefarian with the big game hunter, then hit me for two with the uh, with the harvest golem. Then hit the sheep with his weapon. What now? And I will lose everything and he will not lose everything? Yeah. Genius. I guess you can do it that way. On the plus side, I'm not dying very fast. But I'm still not doing a very good job either. He's got all his mana left. What is he gonna do? Like, what is in his hand? Okay. It would have been worse if it was a bigger weapon, but it's still bad. Yeah. Holster only gives taunt minions plus two plus two. It is going to be likely totally useless. I could do a charge cultist who does five damage if I have to. I get the healing, yay. And he's going to take the damage. That's the, whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. Oh, that's so pointless. And he's just going to kill it. He's at full health anyway. He can just axe it. Or he's going to Deathwing. Okay, that's not helping me. No, I'm in trouble. I can't charge this enough to kill Deathwing, that's for sure. Basically, I need to suicide this and get a freeze ready, which would buy me a turn, but that's not going to help much, so yeah, I'm in trouble. Uh, he's he's going to win with Deathwing. Some of his plays earlier were not great, but they were not as dumb as my not great plays. That was a crappy legend to get out of a scene. Okay, I'm pretty screwed even if I get the freeze rate. Freeze rate would just buy me a turn. Nope. I've got nothing. Yeah, I've got literally nothing. That was a messed up game. I don't know if I could have played it enough better to have survived Deathwing. Like, I I certainly could have played it better, but it's like, it was pretty rough. He reacted poorly to the Power Word Glory, which it's, part of what it's for is that it confuses what you should do a lot of the time. Sometimes it does nothing, sometimes it's really effective. Mostly it's just confusing. All right, almost paid for the run in pure gold, and I've got a pack of the new set. Um, I don't think I had all of those, but those are not particularly astonishingly good rares. But whatever, I did get six wins. That's a lot better than I expected about halfway through that run. So, yeah, we'll just have to make sure I actually recorded it. Yay! <laughs> and start a new run next time. Put the hammer down on that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.